The next method we're gonna talk about is one of my personal favorite and tried and true methods, and that is time blocking. So writing down a daily task list of things to do is, is actually a genuinely good habit to get into. Plus it is super satisfying to check things off your list because hello, dopamine hits. But what happens when your day gets so packed with interruptions like meetings, impromptu phone calls, emails, breaks, lunches, children, dogs, so many distractions that maybe you find your deadlines that you thought were so busy or your to-do list didn't actually get done. And that's because you allowed other interruptions throughout the day. And, and that's okay. You're human. Things happen. That's where this time blocking method comes in. In fact, it's also followed by some of the most successful CEOs out there. Like Bill Gates is huge on time blocking. So here's how it works. Basically you write down your to-do list of items throughout the day and then you assign blocks of time to your highest priority tasks and you put those tasks and, and you put those time blocks into your calendar. Now here's the best part. You're also going to take into account things like lunch breaks, walk breaks, coffee breaks. Here's how this might look and how you might utilize your calendar throughout your workday. Let's say you open your email and a client has asked for a one hour meeting with you today. So you two decide on a time and you block off that hour in your schedule. Now, according to proper science-backed energy management, you actually need 20 minutes after that call to recharge. So what we're going to do is we're going to block off some time too, where you can decompress a little bit post call after you've recharged, you might then want to set aside a 30 minute block of time where you can just check and respond to emails. Theoretically, your hour call might mean you have to send a follow up email of some sort. So put that 30 minutes aside in your calendar. Next, you might block off an hour to 90 minutes in your day for your highest for your highest paying clients or your highest priority tasks. Essentially, you will block out your entire day. It will be filled with tasks, meetings, time to email, breaks included, and you can tick off each item as you do them throughout the day. The reason that time blocking is so cool and so powerful too is because unlike to-do lists where to-do lists don't have times associated with it. I could write down 40 items that I have to do and I might only get three done because I didn't realize one of the tasks on my to-do list was super, super time sensitive. Like how many tasks can you actually do during the day? There's no way we're getting 40 tasks done, but if you're putting time into your calendar to get your highest priority, highest paying, most important things done throughout the day, then you are almost guaranteeing yourself that you will get your most important things done because you made time for them. It's a very simple concept, but it's also very easy to adopt and easy to maintain. So your homework, should you choose to accept it, is to try just for the rest of this work week, try time blocking some elements on your calendar. And you're just trying this for the week because we're just trying on different hats of productivity. So if this method is working for you, great. I want you to embrace it. And if this method is absolutely not working for you, I got you. We're going next to the Pomodoro technique.